I'm Tina Tiainen, and this is my brand new NV200 from Nissan. This is my brand new ride. It is an NV200 from Nissan. Small cargo vehicle. And guess what it's gonna be used for? My dog daycare that I'm opening. So I got this amazing new cargo van that I'm gonna to use to transport dogs. Hi babe. I've been wanting some kind of a panel van for a very long time because I'm starting a business. It's a dog daycare and so we need a shuttle to help transport dogs around in case of medical emergencies and such. And I also want to open it as a pet taxi business so that people who need rides for their dogs or pets of any variety can get them at any time they need them. So let's have a tour of Puppy Love Pet Shuttle. Ow! If you look underneath the steering wheel down here, there's a thing for your gasoline release. Lift it up like that and also your hood release. To open this thing up, what you do is there's a little latch down here and you pull it towards you if you're on the passenger side. And then you lift it up. And then you're gonna find one of these things in there. Good for that. Latch them down into a little hole down there. And then you can look inside the engine. Ignore the bit of dust and stuff like that on this vehicle because I've been driving through farms and uh, it's quite dusty on the gravel roads. So forgive that. And then I'm going to latch it back and then put it away. Woo! And here the driver has a little armrest. They can go up or down. And here is our emergency brake. And here we have, if we remove this, we have a very large compartment that you can hide notebooks in. And here are two cup holders. And here is some space to hide things here. USB, headphone jack, and cigarette outlet. Oh yeah, and then we got all that stuff. And then we got all this. And here you can see if there are things behind you if you're driving. For instance, if I were to try to back up now, it might look clear, right? But really, there's a dog behind me. Look at that. Be very careful backing up. Oh, there's dogs. Oh, there's dogs. You can't back up. Oh, there's all these dogs behind me. Oh my gosh. If there is nothing above 60 pounds in the passenger seat, the airbag will turn off. Ooh. Emergency button, oh, help me, help me. And then what's great about this vehicle is that the uh, AC is amazing right now. It's uh, really hot outside and we're enjoying the nice cool AC after we had a run. You can control your music here and answer phone calls. And here you can have your cruise control. If you don't have the technology package, you will not have this part. It will just be blank. And this part will just have a little CD player thing. It won't have this entire screen. You want the screen. But yeah, this is the technology package. You get 
this little system and things like that. You can mess around with your apps and Sirius satellite radio and traffic, CDs, all these features here. You can fit an entire pallet into this car because you can actually unhinge the doors so that they open all the way to get out of your way so you can fit an entire pallet inside of the car. These additional handles open it so it goes all the way. If you were to close the smaller door first, it would ding on there and you don't want that. There is a little stoppy thing on there for that, but you don't want to do that. Also, you can fit a long, long, long board or something like that if you want it in there. I think it's like nine feet or 10 feet if you put the seat down. And this vehicle has some incredible features for the business person, such as a folding down seat to where you can use it as a little desk on the road. And then there's a place for your pen right there. It won't roll away. And in the dashboard here, we have places to keep a folder. Ta -da. Ta -da. I'm actually gonna use this baby anchor to support kennels. If you have a baby in the front seat, you can use this thing and it's like attached to the actual frame of the car so that the baby will not go flying out of the car. Very awesome. Now the NV200 does not have the option to have any kind of seats in the back. So this is a pure cargo vehicle. These little D-rings will be great for strapping in dog cages. Flatten them and then hide them. There's two in the very back, two in front of the wheel wells, and then two behind the passenger and the driver. This is what the ground stuff is. It's kind of rubbery and it's thin here like that. And it's attached by these things. You can probably remove them, but I think they're one-time use. And then over here, we have a cigarette lighter thingy. Little electrical guy. And I wanna make sure that it can stay very, very clean. So I got this vehicle because there's not very much carpet on it. And um, frankly, I was looking for the Ford Transit but actually this ended up being a way better value, better fuel economy, and kind of better looking. So I went with the NV200 from Nissan instead of the Ford Transit. Now, I bought this vehicle because I need something that has as few seams as possible and something that can easily be washed out. Now, this is a good basis. However, I am going to cover this entire back with vinyl to make sure it's dog proof and it can be easily wiped up. I'm also gonna sew some seat covers that are easily wipeable and do not absorb hair or moisture. So now we have the seat all the way back in the driver's seat. If you push this far back one, it will spring forward. Woo! Or you can lean it back by doing the same, lifting up and then leaning back. This one here, if you lift it up, it cranks your entire seat up. If you lift it down like this, it cranks your seat down. My only complaint about this car is that it does not have a makeup mirror. Oh, it doesn't have a makeup mirror on the passenger or the driver's side. So ladies, you have to do your makeup in that. Hi guys. Now normally we would not transport dogs like this. We're gonna have crates for our business and things like that. So these guys get to ride free for now, but I'm actually gonna cover the back of this shuttle with some kind of vinyl stuff that's gonna make sure that there's no pee or like pet hair or anything like that get, that gets stuck in here. I want it to be really easy to clean, so I'm gonna line the entire back with vinyl. 
So for my purposes, I'm going to alter the back, and I also might build a little storage compartment or something like that. Right now it's kind of dirty because I have been running dogs around in it and they've been jumping in the front seat, which they're not supposed to do. Gotta get out of the front seat! We don't have a dog divider yet, so this can happen. We're eventually gonna get a divider back there. We're gonna build it ourselves. And that's my Nissan NV200. Are you envious? <laughs> so that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, Tina Tiainen Television. It's called youtube.com backslash sprinkle1111. Like this video by clicking like and uh, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.